Hello my darlings and welcome back to another video. You can tell by the title that this is a different style of video that I'm used to creating on this channel. This is a new one for me but it's something that is so so important and something that has really drastically changed my life. So grab yourselves a cup of tea, let's sit down, let's have a good old chat and let's get into it. So if you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Mona Lisa and I'm a London-based content creator. So expect to see beauty, travel content, lifestyle, fashion. If you like the sound of that, then definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'm definitely embarking on a new chapter on this channel. I really wanna share something that I have been going through in hopes that it will help somebody out there. Now, I am not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, so please do not take what I say as medical advice. This is just from one girly to another in hopes that it might help somebody. So I know when I was starting on my health journey that there's a lot of jargons out there that I didn't know. There's just so many different avenues of to go down and it was really, really confusing and seems really technical something that really impacted my life so much was just so I couldn't understand it I couldn't get my head around it I don't know why I'm getting really emotional <laughs> but this is just me really just opening up being so raw and telling you guys my personal experience so as the title says I have lost 31 pounds to this day i'm pretty sure it's 31 pounds i'm not actually weighed myself for a couple of days because i've been away but last time i checked it was 31 pounds in three months i started this journey back in april due to due to some medical issues that i had now prior to that i actually suffered severely with sciatica and if you've ever experienced sciatica before it is like shooting pains in your leg. You can't walk. It kept me up all night. I had no idea what the hell was going on with my body. I've never even heard of the word sciatica. You know, in my head, I'm thinking I'm a healthy young female. I shouldn't be experiencing sciatica. So I did go and see my doctor and I was pretty much fobbed off. I told him I was experiencing sciatica. I was uh, experiencing experiencing severe fatigue no energy super lethargic he was just like well try this try that not really giving me much advice it was like yeah have more iron um try and get better sleep i kind of left that appointment feeling very disheartened and very much like he's not listening to me i actually cried in that gp appointment and i was and i was going through a lot of stress at the time my dog prince of, that i had since a puppy he died at 12 years like a few months prior so i kind of just thought yeah maybe i'm just really dealing with grief and stress so maybe that's the reason i'm having all these kind of issues after going to an event i remember it was all about female health etc there was talks about how we need to take power and ownership over our own health and also mental health and she did actually advise me to go back to my GP with a full list, you know, paper, pen of every thing that I had been experiencing with my health, write it down, write the dates. It really did fire me up. So I was planning on going back. It just so happened that it fell on the Easter bank holiday. So I didn't actually get a chance to book in to see my GP, but something worse would have happened during that Easter. It was about two to three o'clock in the afternoon i was on my i think my second cup of tea of the day i already had my coffee and i was having digestive biscuits with it and after that i just started to feel a little niggle in my chest and that little niggle started to become severe over the app over the minutes that went by I started to feel a bit nauseous and i thought you know what i just don't feel right i'm gonna skip dinner not gonna eat and then that evening it was the worst pain i had ever felt i was actually home alone my partner went away home for the weekend to see his family and i was actually planning to see friends for easter so i think it was on the saturday yeah it was the saturday and saturday night and i just felt so dizzy 
I had a temperature, which I thought was weird. Severe pain in my back, my chest area. So yeah, I was just pointing to here just so you guys can see. My stomach, it just felt like something wasn't right. And I didn't really eat that much, really, when I think about it that day. I did not take into account what I ate prior, the week prior. Anyway, I'm really trying to make this long story short. I was so close to going to the hospital. Pain was so severe that I did not sleep all night. But silly me, not putting my health first, I stuck it. I just sucked it up. And I was like, no, I'm going to see my friend tomorrow. Like, I can't do this to her. I can't let her down. But I literally was crying. I was laying on the bathroom floor because I just kept wanting to throw up. I did throw up a couple of times. I actually thought at one point I had gas and that was the severe pain. So I took... Um, like the bus uh, buscapan or the you know the thing the little green tablet i think it's called buscapan i will write it if it's wrong this one that it helps with ibs relief and it says it targets pain and discomfort and that is generally what i thought i was experiencing so i took one of those and i remember as soon as i swallowed it I maybe five minutes after that I threw up again and when I say those tablets are green my vomit was just green after that um I also did have a match earlier that day so that's probably also why my vomit was green and I remember just throwing up and calling my boyfriend and being like you know something's wrong i don't know what it is i had the chills i also really craved salty food after throwing up so yeah and i kind of said to myself if i still feel bad in the morning i'm gonna go to the hospital please never do that because it could have been something so serious that i would have needed medical attention and being home by myself i should have just called the hospital but i, I you know growing up in a immigrant household you're kind of taught like not to make a fuss and deal with it and all of that and I highly recommend anyone please don't think you can deal with it because something could have seriously happened like maybe it could have been a burst pancreas or something I don't know and I would have been in serious trouble so please please listen to your gut literally and if you feel like something's not right call the ambulance especially if you're on your own so I went to go and see my doctor and it turned out that I actually had a goldstone you know I probably probably have been experiencing goldstones my entire like adult life without even realizing it which is probably true like i always thought it was just like heartburn even though i don't even know what heartburn feels like or indigestion and so i'm not going to go too much into what gallstones are and um, you could you guys can google it it's pretty bad and vile like build up of bile in your gallbladder causing you to throw up and um in worst cases such as that you have probably will have to get your goldstone removed if it continues happening my doctor did warn me that if i do have another goldstone attack like that then go and seek medical advice go to the hospital and he goes more likely they would recommend you to remove it if it keeps causing you issues now that was a huge shock to my system because i don't want any of my organs removed unless I can help it I would love to keep a hold of my cold bladder it serves a valid purpose and I don't want to get it removed something else that got brought up in that appointment was the fact that I was obese and that one of the things that could really help with gallstones is losing weight I was also diagnosed with being pre-diabetic because I was severely overweight for my height and that is crazy to think that i was obese so yeah when he said that and he weighed me i was just a bit like i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was a little bit offended that he called me obese i didn't see myself as being obese no one had ever told me i was obese i'm like what is up with this doctor like i need to go and see someone else i can't believe he said this to me my god was up i just couldn't believe that he said I was medically obese. So for my age, my height, my weight, that's what I was and I have to be real about it. And I'm gonna be so transparent and I will be discussing how much I did weigh. So I weighed 185 pounds. Guys, that wasn't even my heaviest. I'm pretty sure I've been heavier than that, which is shocking. And that's why when he said it, I just didn't believe him. I almost feel like I had the 
like body dysmorphia but in reverse like when I looked at myself I didn't see myself as being fat or obese I would wear things and I didn't think I looked fat on obese but I, I had been going through a stressful time and going through grief I think dysmorphs your, dysmorphs your brain a little bit and I almost did have a little bit this like I don't care attitude like I don't care what I look like I don't care how people perceive me all of this sort of stuff so yeah I mean I was I can't even deny it. I was obese and it, it was a shock to the system along with gallstones and then along with everything else that had obviously been spoken about previously like having sciatica not being able to sleep feeling lethargic feeling tired all the time it's because i was carrying around this huge excess of weight and it was literally dragging me down since my dog passed away i definitely was sad i don't know if i was in depression but i was definitely sad i didn't want to go out anymore um walking had completely been removed i was walking my dog every day probably twice a day to now he's gone Like I had no reason to go out and I felt like I had no reason. So yeah, I didn't want to go out even like little things like I'd be in the car with either a friend or a family member and like, you know, just running in to get something. I wouldn't even want to go. I was just like, I didn't want to see anyone. I didn't want to face anyone. I didn't want to talk to anyone for a really long time actually. Um, I remember even like pushing myself to go to events and like, trying to divert people because I just didn't want to speak to them and I think really deep down yes it was grief but I think also like maybe I had a bit of anxiety about maybe the way I looked I don't know guys I'm gonna have to pause I knew that I really had to change my lifestyle get my health on track put myself first and some of the things that I did was look at my diet and I honestly thought that it wasn't that bad but I knew that maybe I was delusional <laughs> and so he my doctor recommended to really cut out fatty foods and I was eating fast food a lot McDonald's I was a frequent member had the app on my phone deleted that straight away um same with Domino's I have a Domino's right around the corner from my house I haven't stepped foot in there sweets and sugar i am such without doubt 3 p.m is my cup of tea and biscuits time i never ever miss my tea and biscuits time but i realized i wasn't having that once a day i was maybe having that three or four times a day along with coffee with sugar in it and having honey in my teas and having chocolate every single day after every meal i felt like i needed to eat chocolate and that's because honestly feel like my sugar um my glucose levels and um was all over the place really felt like that was something i could easily tackle alcohol was another one um i'm not a huge drinker but my boyfriend is without sounding like a massive alcoholic but he's a man he can handle more alcohol i can't and obviously during lockdown we were you know you do you have a glass of wine but that glass of wine was turning into a bottle of wine and i was going to events three or four times a week and usually at events there's prosecco and champagne and lovely cocktails cocktails oh to me are the devil i don't drink cocktails. they are full of sugar number one guys if you could take anything from this video is really 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 just cut out sugar in your diet luckily i wasn't a huge like fizzy pop drinker like cokes and fantas and anything sort of sugary and sparkly i never really drunk in my whole life so that was fine my weakness was biscuits was chocolate was fizzy sweets i loved like a good pick a mix oh ice cream as well we had an amazing ice cream shop down the road and marino and you know what's really strange like as soon as i switch my brain into like i'm not having sugars anymore ice creams etc the store closed down like they relocated so i don't have that temptation down the road anymore which is amazing i'm so happy my boyfriend is so heartbroken by it but for me i'm like yes don't have to see that temptation it's gone so that's great another thing i think is really great that and i kind of touched upon was 
alcohol cut alcohol in my life yes i will have a couple of drinks here and there but i'm not doing it every week and when i go to events now for work you know they have if you go through my previous vlogs if you follow me on social media there's an abundance of cocktails there's an abundance of champagne and wine and whatever you want which is amazing but there's also an abundance of water which i could have and i'm definitely going more of staying hydrated and water versus the alcohol my third point is i really did step up my drinking water i've got actually again in videos maybe that you would have seen on my tiktok or whatever you would see me drinking out of this i bought this as soon as i had my gold stone and i was like right i need to up my water this is actually empty now i need to fill it up again for this evening but this has been the best thing ever i take it with me everywhere fourth thing like fatty sort of food you don't really have anything deep fried but my boyfriend really loves to cook with butter and as soon as i told him about my situation he was so supportive and he was just like right no more butter and he was kind of jumping on board he was like right we'll, we'll make salads and you know even little things like we would roast vegetables and he would like drizzle it with oil um we don't do that anymore we have the locale like spray olive oil we will have like steaks and you, and stuff we don't really have that anymore we do have like prawns and scallops but he would always want to fry them in butter butter was a big thing like we would love to get a fresh loaf of bread and slather it in this french butter that we loved with a bit of sea salt doesn't even really appeal to me anymore i also have to admit that yes it's really easy that i say all of this stuff and i do think what really helps and i kind of said this to my sister and i kind of said to her to my benefit i feel like having a health scare shook me into this weight loss i think if that didn't happen I don't think I would have seen myself as obese. I don't think I would have seen myself having a diet issue or anything like that. It's almost the gallstone. Because when I say, guys, it was the worst pain I've ever, ever felt in my whole entire life. It shook me to my core. It was so painful. And it was almost the best thing that could have ever happened to me because if it wasn't for that i wouldn't have made all these changes another change that i we kind of made and again i don't think i would have been able to have done this without my boyfriend is you know we eat more clean we eat really like raw vegetables um salads every day we have more protein every day and doing my research as well is like protein really helps you feel full and if you feel full i'm not going to turn to sugars i'm not going to turn to biscuits or chocolate or cake so i really do push to eat clean and really put in my protein that would be my next tip i feel like i don't know what number i'm on number five is like really up in my protein i enjoy now eating boiled eggs that is like my snack of choice i'll have a boiled egg some carrots chicken i love like i said before we have a lot of fish and um, we like to smoke trout salmon prawns scallop so really really we are heavy on protein i also I have a protein smoothie if i feel like i need sugar and that's usually when it's around about that time of the month like i really want something sugary so i have like a chocolate protein powder and i put bananas blueberries spinach in there and i absolutely love it I have been incorporating incorporating a lot of soups that have like uh, chickpeas in there like black beans and really trying to get my is it legumes trying to get that into my diet and that is so filling and i love it and i was watching another youtuber Haley gamba and she spoke about just like being on a soup diet and just filling up on soup and although it doesn't really fill me up i have been incorporating a lot of soups into my diet and honestly it's, it's worked a treat i do think though guys if you, protein for me has made me feel full therefore i'm not snacking on biscuits or anything like that what i had before it's almost like halved my caloric intake because i'm not having the chocolate the cakes the honey the sugar or anything like that so that's great i have never been a calorie counter i don't want to be a calorie counter this is a lifestyle change for me i want to continue this and let it be manageable for the rest of my life there have been some downfalls and some pits which i can talk about in another video about 
you know, being on your weight loss journey and how like, other people perceive that. Sometimes I will snack plan, I won't meal plan, but snack plan, where I'll have everything chopped up and ready, like my eggs are ready, my carrots, my cucumber, everything like that is all ready, and I could just nibble it as and when I please, and that is a great tip. So you, I don't go to the crisps or anything like that, that is my snack and it's there waiting for me. Got out of my delusional mind and I sat down and I was like, okay, this is the problem. And a lot of it was in the evenings, mindlessly watching TV, snacking. Now it's like, if I want something, it's a yogurt with some berries after dinner and that's it. Keeping busy has really, really helped. It's, it's helped now because it is the summer. So I'm kind of glad that this has happened at this time. Winter, who knows i don't know how i'm gonna react because i haven't incorporated any gym workouts yet because i'm really trying to bring down my calorie intake and be in a caloric deficit and i know that i get very you know i have low iron and i can have tendencies to faint and stuff like that so i'm trying to get my diet eating in check before i start going to the gym and that I mean we're on this journey together guys like i really want you guys to help me i want to be able to help you you know i've watched so many videos of people like you gotta look out for your macros you gotta look out for this 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 and i'm like this is so confusing top things i do is i drink more water I cut out sugar no alcohol and protein that is what i've done and i've dropped literally it's crazy to think 30 ish 31 pounds it's like i can't believe that this was the formula this was the formula and it was there in front of me all along the thought of greasy food doesn't appeal to me i know that this isn't my typical style of video but this is something that's real that i'm going through right now i'm still technically overweight so i still have a long way to go and there's going to be more videos if there's anything in here or anything in specific you want to know let me know and we can chat about it. I guess my next stage for me is incorporating workouts because it's coming up to winter. I'm going to be a little bit more solitary. Is that the word? I'm not going to be moving as much. So going to the gym, I need to. I need to build muscle. I need to go to the gym because going out in London during the winter is not exactly the nicest. But that's a different kettle of fish that I'm embarking on. But for now, I just wanted to let you guys know, like, what i've been dealing with my health journey thus far and if you guys have any tips help a sister out because yeah i feel like i'm just dipping a toe into this like weight loss journey lots more to go and obviously the sooner you reach your goal weight the harder it is and yeah so i'm gonna end this video here thank you so much guys for watching if it is something that you liked and found useful then please give it a thumbs up so i know and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much guys for watching for your help and patience and i'll see you guys in my next video